Hey, welcome to Sea Talk In. How are you doing, Paul? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good, man. Hey, look, I know we've we've just had a chat, and uh, I know who you are anyway. But for for anyone that doesn't know you, could you give a quick intro? Yeah, certainly. Um, my name's Ian Lewis. I'm director of uh, Sparminster Level in West Oxfordshire. Um, family-run business, uh, symbol group, obviously of Spa. Uh, we've been a spa store since 1991, um, and it's uh, been in the family since 1937 so I'm third generation um, of the business so that comes with you know family and whatnot but it's uh yeah it's really good good stuff and it's always been that location is it is it just one location yeah that's right yeah just a single single store um, we it, it grew from Crescent stores was the um, founding name um, and that was my great uncle and auntie that opened that on the on the street behind the store where it is now um, but yeah it's um, 1800 square feet um, as you can see, my parents' house is latched onto the side, so you can see my uh, old bedroom at the top there. So, there you go. yeah. yeah. Properly family, family, family run, yeah. So uh, you've been part of the community for for a long time. If we were to look back at this picture and uh, have our back to the store, I understand we're, we're we're looking at a pub. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we're just across the road from the White Hart. Um, so we've got a great relationship with them. Um, I always think that sometimes maybe sort of convenience, maybe see it as a threat, but actually, I think we really kind of complement each other. Um, and support each other which is obviously really important in the community oh we definitely does i mean one of the things that the acs have done is look at what's the you know the most popular kind of service in the local area and uh obviously i'm keen to say that it's the uh the local shop we'll all be pleased to hear that but yeah, not far, far behind it is a post office and a pub as you'd expect <laughs> yeah absolutely it's um like i say we've got to embrace it there's no point trying to fight you know with them um and i find that like i said it complements each other and I try and keep abreast of what they're serving behind the bar because obviously yeah. it's important that, you know, cost of living and everything like that now, if if they're having a pint and, and they want to come back over to the shop and on their way home, you know, they might have got a taste for Madri or Cause and then, you know, that... that sets them up for the evening yeah i'm just looking looking making sure you you've got everything in in stock there i can i can see your madri and uh <laughs> bit carl and gary and on so uh if they're if they're there they they can come over and uh the finish yeah. that. does that happen quite a lot what what is the customer um, yeah there? i mean you can obviously we've got full visibility kind of at the back door of the pub so we can see people coming over um from the pub on their way home and you know obviously being in the village all my life you know i know i know the majority of the population of the village so you know i can tell they've been there and you know who drinks in there and who drinks what so yeah it's it, it's really unique i guess but it, oh. it works really well for us no it's uh it's quite a nice thing to see i'm getting the impression that you've you've probably been over the road yourself as part of some research undoubtedly absolutely you know i have to make sure you know what they're serving we've got in stock so yeah absolutely it's uh you know it's a, it's a great pub really really good good stuff well i think um that sort of leads us to uh to, to a bit of an, an obvious uh answer to the question i'm about to ask you which is you know you're a, a successful store owner retailer third generation definitely doing more than one thing right if you had one top tip to give to the retailers out there what would it be i think it's availability it, it right. is absolute key um we're very lucky with our, our wholesale with blakemore and how that's set up you know suggestive ordering looks at trends looks at sales and it's making sure you've got the availability because you can just lose a customer just like that if they repeatedly come in, they want their favourite lager, they want their favourite crisp, and you, you've got to make sure that you, you're there and you've got it in stock. And uh, like you say, make sure if the local pub's selling, telling that you've you've got it in there and you're, you're on top of what's going locally as well. Absolutely. You know, like I mentioned, Madri, the cause, you've got to make sure that those brands are there um, because... You know, like me, if you get a taste for it <laughs> one night, you think, actually, can I afford that little bit, you know, four more pints when you can go and pick up a four pack and drink, you know, at home, half the price. You know, that, that's that's kind of the way I, I look at it and pitch it. Good man. Hey, look, time goes quick. I warned you it would do. Uh, five minutes, five <laughs> minutes is up already, believe it or not. So that just leaves me to say thanks ever so much for joining us. Ian. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for your time. Thanks, buddy.